Nowitzki one on one with Anthony. Holds the ball, holds the ball, puts up a tough shot. Bounces it up, goes in at the buzzer. A heartbreaking defeat as Dirk Nowitzki wins the game. Unbelievable finish. And a crushing defeat for the Knicks here at the Garden. Dirk Nowitzki's 36 years old, but he can still do that. And Thursday, he made sure that the big shots will keep on coming for Dallas as he agrees to a three-year deal with the Mavericks in the $30 million range total. There's a player option in year three. This after earning $22.7 million last season and averaging almost 22 points and six rebounds. And then it was Swish41 taking to Twitter with this message. MFFL, Mavs fans for life. Took me a while to figure it out. <laughs> so the greatest man returns, uh, Smitty, and his 17th and 18th season took less money to come back to Dallas. What, what does this mean for the Mavs? Yeah, I, I just love the way uh, Dirk handled everything. You know, we all knew he was probably coming back to Dallas. Um, I, I love the way me and Chris was just talking about his game is, is ageless, is timeless. Um, he can average 20. We were just talking about it, I think, two or three more years. You know, just because he can shoot the basketball, he can make free throws. At his size, he's going to always be able to get his shot off. You know, to be able to win at a little higher level, I think they have to go out and get somebody to go along with dirt. But his game, he's going to always average 20. He's going to be around close to 50, 40, 90. Uh, it, it just won't be those explosion games, but I think he can consistently have an impact on the game. Just the Dallas Mavericks are trying and look like they're trying to rebuild something. They got to get that guy to go along with dirt to have a chance to make some noise in a tough Western Cup. Yeah, and Chris, his game has evolved, like Smitty said, but there are still some pieces that are necessary, right? For the Absolutely. Mavs. they got to add some more pieces. And it, he's been a rock for that organization. I mean, he was there when they played in the old arena and had a different owner. So he's been there the whole time. And the consistency, it's nice to see him win a championship. They had Tyson Chandler, which is going to help him to get more shots. He'll get easier looks. Hopefully get to the free throw line more. they got to add some more scores and some more ball hunters on the perimeter, which they have cap space. And Mark Cuban is very involved and very active in the process. So you're happy to see a guy like that stay in a city his whole career, have the success he's had. It just it's, it just makes the NBA feel really good. Yeah. And, and David, what do, you, what do you see now moving forward uh, with the team? And, what, what does this mean in terms of trying to add those pieces? I mean, what, what can you tell us about where Dallas may go? Well, look, it, it obviously means they think they're out of the mellow st sweepstakes if they went ahead and agreed to, you know, committing money to Dirk. Um, because that, you know, the, the whole idea was Dirk would wait and see what Mello would sign for, and then they would re-sign him. So they're, they're clearly going forward. So now you hear Chandler Parsons is a restricted free agent. Um, but I think Dallas is going to try to be as creative as possible, maybe with an offer sheet next week. If that doesn't work out, you still got, got Trevor Ariza still out there. Luol Dang is still out there. Those are two guys. I think you can look at the small forward position clearly as the place where Dallas is going to go to try and add that player that you guys were talking about. Yeah, but Mark Cuban, uh, like you said, Chris, he's competitive, so he's going to go out there and put the best team out there as possible. Remember, took the Spurs to seven games uh, last year, albeit with some different personnel.